Hello traders, FS Pep Galati here. Today is Monday, October 30th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro Yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the Euro Yen monthly, I mean, I still think this is very clearly a one, two, three, and I still don't really see any evidence that the wave three is actually over. I mean, this very easily could just keep on trending up. I do think eventually it is going to make a bigger correction for the wave four and then probably back up again for the wave five. I believe it's going to end up around this 165 area, which is the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, protected off the bottom of what I believe to be an A, B, C of B. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I mean, we definitely do have that 3, 4, 5 shape right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it is starting to turn down. Now, I'm not really convinced anything is actually over until we start getting some significant breaks of starts to the downside. It does kind of look like we are getting ready to make a move to the downside on the sort of time frames, but I really wouldn't be surprised if we get another higher low, another higher low, and another continuation of the uptrend. I still believe we are in a wave three as of now so going down to that daily time frame on the daily time frame is where you can see this very very overlapping waves but looking at correlated pairs i think this is actually more likely to be a wave a it looks like it may have already made three ways up for a wave b if that is the case then we probably are in a downtrend that would go down to at least 100 or the 123 area to make a wave c before we potentially had another impulsive move up another break of starts with another continuation of the uptrend. So taking it down to that four hour time frame. So four hour time frame, it definitely looks like impulsive down, corrective up. It should be a one, two, and a three, but we do have to be aware if it does make a big impulsive turn up that it could possibly turn into an A, a B, and a C. So definitely be aware, you know, the trend is really up on all the higher time frames, so be aware that it could turn into another ABC correction. But if it is the end of a way B right here like it looks like it is on the daily then this is probably going to make a downtrend that at least goes down to around the 154 57 area to finish off this sets of trend most likely a wave C based on the higher time frames so taking it right down to that one hour time frame one hour time frame I think this right here is very clearly an ABC correction it's probably a wave two but it could be a wave B we are making lower lows lower highs as you can see now for me if it goes up and clearly breaks structure you know that is what's going to tell me it's a wave C and at that point I would definitely switch back into being coming a buyer instead of looking for sales but until something like that happens you know I'm for sure looking for lower highs lower highs I'm looking for three wave pullbacks to go short for the continuation of this downtrend, which is most likely a wave three of wave C on the daily time frame. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.